Okay, so um, you know what a difference a day makes. This is uh, the another look at the uh, Jack branch. So this is the Jack MIDI and audio branch for MuseScore 4. Uh, and um, a lot of issues have been resolved just in the last day. So this, this is a project that's running real, in, real time in sync. That's real time playback. Um, what I have is I actually have MuseScore running through our door into an input in our door. So it actually is running into uh, the digital audio workstation that I have down here. I tried to cram everything into one screen so you can see. Um, in which case on that stereo input, you could, uh, in that uh, input bus, you could send that then to a mix down bus and you could add effects even from there. So I did not do that. This is just a very simple kind of setup to demonstrate proof of concept. But I have MuseScore 4's output running into DAW and then the DAW is also running in synchronization through Jack Transport. Um, but in addition to that, I have Blender is running as the video playback uh, system. Um, now, our door actually has a video playback system. It actually points to XJDO. Um, but I found that in our door, I couldn't get there, there, either there's a setting I'm not seeing or it doesn't have the capability. Once you enable Jack Transport, the video won't play back. It seems to only play the video back if it's running uh, uh, isolated to itself. Um, but it, once you enable Jack Transport, the video doesn't play back. It's just as well because it gives me the opportunity to prove this point here, that I've got three kind of major distributions open, and all three of these have the ability to uh, nuance the offset to get an exact timing. So how did I accomplish this? There is a little bit of a lag uh, on MuseScore 4's playback. Um, it's a very minor amount. Uh, it is static and it is consistent. Uh, so it doesn't matter where you seek on the uh, project. For example, if I just jump ahead here and I push the playhead up here to approximately measure 14, you can see that the video automatically updates and also whenever I hit play on the DAW, Everything is in sync. It actually seeks to the appropriate place inside of MuseScore, and that offset is consistent. It is static. What this means is that I can put a measure at the beginning of everything. I can put a measure at the beginning of my DAW project and measure one at the beginning of MuseScore. I can set a tempo that will uh, adjust for the offset, and then measure two will be the starting point. I can set my start location marker in DAW, and I'll always go back to that very first measure. Now, what I did is once I set this point, I then uh, set up in Blender, if we go here to the uh, actual sequencer, I was able to set the frame at which the uh, video would start. So I have the frame set at frame two is the actual start time. Uh, and this offset can shift and move and nudge however I need to. So it's a very, very powerful kind of uh, approach, I think, to uh, this idea of synchronization uh, for film scoring. This is entirely workable. Uh, right now, um, the MuseScore uh, transport does not run in master. It's only running as slave. That's probably just as well because the delay side is on MuseScore. Um, how would how would I adjust this? I mean, if I, I mean conceptually, I don't know what the situation that causes that delay, but but conceptually, you could um, create two kinds of adjustments. I don't know if it can be done, but if it could, this is what I would do. I would make an adjustment for the slave side so that whenever MuseScore is receiving transport uh, data, when it's receiving, um, it would uh, backtrack. Um, on the playback. So it would play a little bit back from the actual playhead. Um, so it would it'd kind of work in the negative space. Now the problem here is that if you do that, I believe this is possible, if you do that you'll always have artifacts on measure one if you're starting at measure one. 
the truth is that if you're working on a film score, you're never starting at measure one. There's always some kind of a buffer, uh, particularly if you're writing from DAW. Everybody knows this. When you're writing from DAW, the first couple of measures is really no man's land. That's where you're going to have MIDI data and wiggles and things like that that are going to indicate what your uh, MIDI controllers are going to do. So you just insert that measure at the beginning, and then you have a start time. And then I would have that f uh, 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 argument for uh, MuseScore receiving as a slave. Then on the opposite, if you could with MuseScore as the master transport, when you hit play, what it should do is then send the equal delay out to jack transport so that tr the transport is delayed by that same amount. And then this way you should have a seamless kind of integration depending it really wouldn't matter where you're playing from. If you're playing from uh, the DAW or if you're playing from Blender, if you're playing from QJack Control or some other kind of uh, um, uh, actuator for uh, Jack Transport, uh, you would get the offset in one direction inside MuseScore. And then if you're using the MuseScore Transport, and this is not capable yet, we don't have the master side to it, um, it should be portable, but it isn't done yet. Uh, when using the transport from MuseScore, it should just give the offset in the other direction. That's how I would resolve it. For now, you just manually create the offset. You uh, change the tempo. You put in one, one measure with a beat or just a whole measure, maybe four beats, and then you just create an offset tempo so that beat one of measure two arrives at the same point, and then you can uh, set your start point from DAW use the DAW as the master transport, and then you're ready to rock and roll. And you can actually score from uh, score to picture directly into MuseScore, get playback directly from MuseScore. You can actually funnel it into DAW. Here what I did is I actually have MuseScore playing back into DAW, but then I've got two synthesizers on here just to prove the concept. So I've got two instances of uh, Zen Fusion, Zen Add Sub Effects, a couple of synthesizers that are uh, perfectly synchronized and lined up uh, to the beat. You can see I've got my tempo max worked out in both uh, applications. So I've got uh, meter changes up here and I've got meter changes, the identical ones down here. This is really, really seamless. Uh, you could totally score in this way. So um, hopefully this will continue to improve. We'll get a little bit more functionality. This is kind of the point I'm making. You could always do a synchronized work inside of the digital audio workstation using MIDI data and various kinds of MIDI instruments or other kinds of virtual instruments and then just synchronize that along with the Muse score and then use the Muse sounds from there and you kind of get the best of both worlds and this is very typical to film scoring is that you're using multiple kind of modular uh, applications to get a final mix down and using synchronization uh, to accomplish it so this is very very good I'll try to put um, I'll put the link to the uh, pull request in the description so that you can go get it uh, the pull request is a uh, forward uh, uh, building so it's actually building on MuseScore 4.4 I believe is the base that's what it's um, uh, synchronizing to all of these uh, additions uh, we'll see how much development uh, goes on here and whether or not we can get to a point where this can be pushed into trunk I think it's going to be difficult to get the developers the MuseScore core developers to accept this for whatever reason um, again maybe I think there's some leeriness because this seems to be a kind of a Linux centric sort of solution but it's my understanding that Jack works on other operating systems uh, and is able to sync with other digital audio workstations so I really do not see a reason why this should be withheld from the uh, master branch once it is kind of solidified and cleared up but anyway really 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 great work on this just in the last 24 hours a lot of really big development we'll see what tomorrow brings but just wanted to give you a quick demonstration to show proof of concept this does work works quite seamlessly very uh, uh, very very easy and accessible once you understand the mathematics of setting up your uh, offset and synchronization these are skills that every film comp composer has to know right this is uh, really not it's not as hacky as it seems we really always have to do these kinds of things in terms of nudging video and nudging start times within digital audio workstation it's kind of par for the course here we're just integrating muse score into the equation and we get to use these great muse sounds so really really stellar work uh, best of luck with this and happy mixing and happy composing.